played the Stars. Shout out to Dave for trying to do it. Dave, you did the other night? You did. So you Dave? Oh, you Dave. Okay. Um, so I'll try it this way. Let's say you were talking to the pregame game producer and he needed to decide whether you're going to have the starter graphics or the guys that aren't. What would you say? Same thing I said to you guys. Yeah, I mean... We'll see. I mean, you, again, you go through these practices. You go through the week. We've had a good three days of practice. Looking to get our fourth one in here today. We got to see what it's like uh, after this and where guys are feel how guys are feeling. They, they don't they don't particularly know exactly what we're doing yet. So uh, they they deserve to know before before anybody else. We'll see. Yeah, everything everything's always you asking the weather. Yeah, everything's always taken into account. Um, you know, we'd be foolish not to take everything into account, and, and we will take everything into account, including so, weather. Will the weather have everything? Including weather, yeah. So yeah. if it's a bad weather night, that could change what We'll see. Do. Yeah, everything will be taken into account, yes. The, the forecast is pretty serious out there, so have you had talks with the Ravens or the league about the safety of potentially playing something? We're like ready that? to go and go play, um, you know, and so and we'll see what happens. We, those are things that are out of our control. Um, and we'll do, you know, we'll play. If they say we play, we play. And if, if they say we don't, we don't. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll monitor it. We do, you know, um, you know, we'll always get ready for wet, wet uh, weather games, the way we do some things in walkthrough, the way we do some things in practice. We did some things yesterday as far as our operation and kicking um, in with the weather and with the ball. How's your philosophy changed over time in the about the value of those good and sacks and starters there? The risk versus reward Every year is a little bit different. Um, you know, the first year in 21, we played our guys uh, in the first game. I think, was that against the Steelers, one or two series? I think one or two series, the first game against the Steelers. Then, then uh, the plan was to play the next, the next game we didn't um, for some circumstances that happened. Then the 2022, we played the starters for a drive. 23, we didn't. So everything's, everything's a little bit different based off of – when you play, uh, how many practices you have before the game, all those different things. So everything's taken into account. You have some general philosophies of what you what you think, but like you have general philosophies for a lot of things, but those are constantly changing and evolving. Do you want Jalen to be more hot this year? Um, you know, we're we're working through different ways to to handle the blitz. Uh, of course, hot hot answers are one one answer. Throwing quicks another answer, and there's. There's multiple answers that you have. Um, we want to be able to be multiple and want to be able to handle the blitz. Nick, when you look back at Kellen's history, uh, what impresses you? I said we were working it, yeah. Well, I said we were working it, yeah, so yes. When you look back at, at Kellen's history, what stands out about his play calling? Yeah, I, you know, again, I just think he has a really good flow of how to do it. He really sees into the, the quarterback's vision, him playing quarterback at a very high level, sees into the quarterback's vision and how, how, how he sees it. Um, and, um, you know, it's just, again, just when to call the big play, when to, you know, when to, uh, you know, run the football, when to play action. Like, it's just his feel and flow for the game. And those are conversations, like, you could put a game on and see that, um, but those happen more. You, you never know exactly what they're thinking unless you go through an interview with them or unless you have these personal conversations with them. And so, you know, um, that's, where you're, that's where you're getting a lot of the information as far as, how Kellen calls it and how you feel comfortable about how he calls it. What's the approach for kickoffs in the preseason? Are, are, are you keeping that close or, or will you? you yeah, guys? yeah. We'll we'll see how we do that. We have a plan. Uh, we have a plan that that's uh, you know, you'll see in a couple of days. Hey, when it comes to young players, Nick, um, it seems to us and correct me if I'm wrong that maybe a nice is fighting the football a little bit, a couple drops. Um, how do you address that? How do you try to build back that? You know, it's a rowdy group over here today. A rowdy group. Um, when you go out for the, when you go out to play any practice, any game, you always want to be detailed in everything that you do, right? That starts with knowing what to do, your assignment, right? Being in the right spot, getting the right check, getting in the right location, doing the right thing. And then it comes down to the detail of the fundamental. You know, the tackling, the catching, the block destruction, the, the combo blocks, the blocking. Um, you know, all those different things are into play. So what, you're look, what we're looking for every day is so many plays go wrong because something goes wrong with the detail. Now, sometimes you lose a win, win, lose a one-on-one -on -one battle. Sometimes you – like, that's going to happen. Everybody's really good in this league. But 
when you look at a lot of majority of plays that don't go right, it's about a, a detail that happened. Did somebody not do the right thing? Did the coach not call the right thing in the right situation? Um, did we not ha did our was our fundamentals bad? So that's something. Anytime you come out here, we're looking to perfect because we know if we can perfect the tackling, what limits big plays? Being on the same page on defense and tackling the ball carrier well and getting off blocks. Those are fundamentals, right? What creates big plays on offense? Well, being on the right page in protection, right? The catch, the blocking up front. So it's always about fundamentals. So that's what we're looking for in everybody that, that plays. So what we're, what we're doing when, um, when we go in there and correct a fundamental, when we, go, when we go in there and correct a fundamental, it's always about Hey, you dropped this pass, why? You didn't get off this block, why? Because the worst coaching point in the world, and I hate this coaching point and I hate hearing this, is catch the ball. Oh, I tried to. Get off the block, I tried to. Uh, how, right? And so that's what's, that's what's talked about in the meeting room, right? That's what's fixed in the meeting room. Hey, you, you mentioned nice. Hey, you dropped this ball that was low. Were your hands a little bit apart? Did you take? Did you try to turn up the field? Hey, let me show you one. Here's what. Here's the cr proper fundamental. Here's the proper fundamental to get off a block. And now we have unbelievable players on our team, and so much, so much tape at our disposal. Because now, now we can go. Okay, and nice. Watch AJ how his pinkies are together when the ball's below his waist. Watch AJ when he goes to the ground. And instead of going to the ground and letting the ball pop out, he gets to his back, right? And so it's those little details. If I hear one of my coaches say, catch it, uh, I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset uh, because it's about how you do it, and that's what we go about in that film room, and that's how we go about correcting things like fundamentals because it's in the fundamentals, it's in the detail that you win games and that you win plays. It seems that important to you. In the Details are really important to me, so that's why I took a little extra time on your question. In the team meeting this spring uh, in front of everybody, why was it important for you to take responsibility on your shoulders for what Sure. Uh, accountability, right? As the only way to get better is to really look through the things that you felt like you messed up and get better at them, right? Um, and it, but it starts with the humility to say, I messed this up. I need to be better at this. If you want a culture of accountability and you're not being accountable yourself, let me rephrase this. If I want Taylor Sirianni to be accountable, I actually just talked about this to my, our staff today. If I want Taylor Sirianni to be accountable and she sees me blaming things on other people at all time, I'm raising a child that's not going to be accountable. Well, it's the same thing with a team, right? If I'm not accountable to the shit that I mess up, part of my language, if I'm not accountable to the things that I mess up, how am I willing to, how am I going to expect them to be accountable to what they mess up, right? And so that's been day one here. That's just not off season 2024 going into the 24 season. That's been what I've tried to do day one. And I think that our world is dying for accountability in a world where there's so many things that you can blame things on. I've said this before. One of the most proud I've ever been of this team is after the Super Bowl, after a loss in the Super Bowl, um, everyone was trying to give us an out. But the field was really bad, right? Now they had to play, and, and the response of our players to that, no, they had to play on it too. But that call on Bradbury, I mean, that, that got, that's what lost it. No, you know, it was, a, it was a series of plays. But what about this? And what about that? And what about how the, like, it was everybody was trying to hand us an excuse, and they just kept going back to no accountability. That's a team. That's the culture that we want to have. That's the family I want to have in a, as accountability. And accountability is just like, it's just so important. If you, think, if you don't have accountability, then you're not going to get better because you're not going to recognize the mistakes that you made. And so that's what we want from this team. That's, a, you know, any meeting that we start out that I feel like I made a mistake on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I bring it up. And, and, it, and it's not just me up there fixing corrections in front of the team after each practice, right? It's, and I'm saying, hey, Elliot, you, you play right receiver. You screwed this up. You want to play wide out? All right, right, Bo, you play uh, quarterback. You screwed this. Okay, you want to be quarterback. You screwed this up. No, it's, hey, Kellen, 
we, we, this is not the right call. Everybody's accountable. We're all accountable, and that's the only way to get better, and I firmly believe that. Two more. with the head of Steen yesterday. Uh, is that because Steen's still limited, or is that some sort of shift uh, that we saw before the injury? We don't have to make a decision quite on that yet, uh, obviously. They're still battling for, for uh, you know, to who's going to play at that, that position. Uh, really, really have high hopes for both of them, and we'll see how that plays out. Before Steve's injury, he had all, his, all the reps at first team right guard. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, we're still, we're still, it's not a shift. We're still battling, and they were battling before, before that as well, regardless of, regardless of the reps. Nick, what kind of uh, steps did you take to get on the same page with Jalen during the offseason? Yeah, go through all the, go through all the same processes that we go through after each year, and uh, you know, Jalen and I are in a, in a, a really good place. Um, Every relationship that you have needs work at, that with everybody, and we've always continued to try to work at that. All right, thanks, folks. Thank you. Thank you.